If you're given a group frequency table, one of the diagrams you could be asked to draw onto a set of axes is a frequency polygon. The exam boards AQA and OCR don't assess this topic though, so if those are your exam boards, I'd recommend going to watch another video. If your exam board is Edexcel though, stick around and let's look at how we do this. The first and most important thing to note for this diagram is that for these intervals here, we're going to plot at the midpoints. So for the first interval, the time goes between 0 and 20, and it has a frequency of 10. The midpoint of 0 and 20 happens to also be 10. So we're going to plot a time of 10, that's the midpoint, with its frequency, which also happens to be 10. So we go down to 10, that's the midpoint on the time axis, and then find 10 on the frequency axis, and plot across here. We then continue this for all of the other intervals. So the next one goes from 20 to 40, the midpoint of that is 30, so we find 30 on the time axis, and the frequency for this one is 15. So we plot across at 30, 15. Then for the next one from 40 to 60, the midpoint is 50, so we find 50, and the frequency is 42 all the way up here, so we plot across at 50, 42. For the next one from 60 to 80, the midpoint is 70, and the frequency is 21, so we plot across here. For the next one, from 80 to 100, the midpoint is 90, and the frequency is 13, so we plot across at 90, 13. And for the final one, from 100 to 120, the midpoint is 110, and the frequency here is just 9, so we plot across at 110 with 9. To complete your frequency polygon, we're going to connect up all of these crosses, starting at the left and finishing on the right, using straight lines. So it'll look something like this. It's fairly common for some people to incorrectly join these up to the axis. For example, they'll draw a line here and here. You don't want to draw those lines. The frequency polygon should be floating above the axis like this. Another common mistake is for people to connect up the first and last cross with a line like this. You also don't want to draw that line. That would be incorrect. Some of you may know the content creator, Hannah Kettle. If you don't, then you should definitely check out her channel. I'll put a link in the video's description. Anyway, Hannah likes to use this phrase to help her remember how to draw a frequency polygon. Polly the shark lives in the middle of the ocean. The word poly is used because we're drawing a frequency polygon. The word middle is used to help us remember to plot at the midpoints. And poly is a shark because the general shape of this diagram looks a little bit like a shark's fin. If we add on some water, and then a bit of colour, then we could say that this is poly the shark. And to be fair, if we look at some of the past exam questions, most of them do look like this shape. At the time of recording this video, Edexcel have asked students to draw a frequency polygon four times. The resulting shapes look like this. So with the exception of the final diagram here, the other ones do look like the shark fin shape. Another good reason for remembering this phrase is so you don't confuse it with other diagrams. So here's the frequency polygon we drew earlier. But using that same group frequency table, I could also draw a cumulative frequency diagram. And using the same table again, I could also draw a histogram. So there are many different diagrams you could be asked to draw from the same table. Notice how the cumulative frequency diagram will never look like a shark's fin, because it always increases. It will never come back down. A histogram will never look like a shark fin, because it's drawn with bars rather than lines. So if you're asked to draw a frequency polygon, hopefully you think about Polly the shark living in the middle of the ocean, and that will help you remember to plot at the midpoints, and that you might be expecting a shape that looks a little bit like a shark fin. That's not to say it's guaranteed to though. Let's have a look at a second example. So we'll use this frequency table here to draw another frequency polygon. The first group goes from 0 to 10, so the midpoint of that is 5, and the frequency is 70, so at 5 we'll plot 70. The next group goes from 10 to 20, so the midpoint is 15, and we need to plot a frequency here of 22. Plotting this frequency can be a little bit tricky. Let's have a look at the diagram between 20 and 30, since we're trying to plot 22. Between 20 and 30, you can see there are 5 squares. The difference between 20 and 30 is 10, so we need to split that difference of 10 into the 5 squares, so we can do 10 divided by 5, which gives you 2. This means that each of those 1 squares represents 2, and not 1. So if we go one square up from 20, we're actually at 22 now, and not 21. Another square will be another 2, so 24, 26, 28, and then of course 30. So sometimes you need to be careful with the scale on the diagram. So when we plot 22 here, we're going to be one square above 20, and not 2. So we're trying to plot 15 with 22, and that will go here. 
For the next group, we're doing 20 to 30 with a frequency of 40. The midpoint is 25. So at 25, we plot 40. For the next one, from 30 to 40, the midpoint is 35 with a frequency of 38. And for the final group, from 40 to 50, the midpoint is 45 with a frequency of 79. Now we connect these up from left to right using straight lines. So as you can see from this diagram, you're not guaranteed to get that shark fin shape. It just has been like that often in the past, but this is something to bear in mind. The final question we're going to look at is a frequency polygon that's already been drawn for us, and you may be asked to criticize this diagram. So for this one, there are actually three mistakes and we need to find them and write them down. Perhaps the most obvious error for this frequency polygon is they've joined it up to the axis. We said earlier in the video that you don't do this. So for mistake number one, we could write down the graph should not join to the axis. The next mistakes are perhaps a little harder to spot. Let's imagine we were drawing this frequency polygon. For the first group, it goes from 0 to 5 with a frequency of 20. They have plotted a point though at 520, which is not the midpoint of this group. That's the end point. The next group goes from 5 to 10 with a frequency of 60, and they've plotted this point at 10, so again not in the middle. So we could say for the second mistake, the point should be plotted at the middle of each interval and not at the end. To find the final mistake, we need to look carefully at the frequencies and find where they've been plotted. This frequency here at 32 has been plotted incorrectly. You can see if you draw a line across here that this is two squares above 30. Just like in the previous example, each one of these squares is going to be worth two, since there are five squares between 30 and 40. So it goes 32, 34. So this one's been plotted at 34 instead of 32. So for the final error, we could say that the third point has been plotted at 34 rather than 32. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, and why not try the exam questions in this video's description.